they announced that they were looking for people to do programming to send man to the moon. And I just thought, wow, <laughs> I've got to go there. <laughs> I grew up in the Midwest, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Upper Peninsula. I just enjoyed school, but there was something about math that I just liked more than everything else. I liked deriving the answers because I didn't want to memorize. It was too much. <laughs> I was lazy. <laughs> husband was in law school. They wanted the law wives, my being one of them, to pour tea. And I said to my husband, no way am I pouring tea as a Harvard law wife. If I go to Harvard law school, fine, I'll do what the men do, but I'm not going to be put in that position. And he was very proud of me that I had taken that stand. announced that they were looking for people to do programming to send man to the moon. I was the first programmer they hired. I came up with the term software engineering, and it was considered a joke. What? Software is engineering? <laughs> men were working there, and they had somebody at home to take care of their kids. I had no choice. I'd bring my daughter, Lauren, into work nights and weekends, and she'd see me playing astronaut to test the software and doing the kinds of things the astronaut would do. So she wanted to do it, too, so she played astronaut. And all of a sudden, everything came crashing on the simulator, and I realized that what she had done is that she selected the pre-launch program during flight. I said, oh my God, this is not good. We really need to put a protection in there because the astronaut really could do what she did by mistake. I tried to get it through MIT, NASA. No, they said, astronauts are trained never to make a mistake. was an emergency. Everything happened that we thought would happen if they made the mistake. So then there was a decision, go, no, go, land or don't land. Fortunately, the people at Mission Control trusted our software and they said, go, go, go. The software and the hardware worked perfectly. The software was on the ground <laughs> and on the moon. That's one small step for man, one Your example speaks of the American spirit of discovery that exists in every little girl and little boy who know that somehow to look beyond the heavens is to look deep within ourselves. Being fearless, even when the experts say, no, it doesn't make sense, they didn't believe it. Nobody did. It was something that we were dreaming of happening, but it became real. 